doesn't, so welcome to all of you who deal with snow. Um, there are a number of announcements in the bulletin. I would uh, like to uh, mention that the lost key has been found, so please don't worry about that. Um, <coughs> over the next several weeks, we are collecting um, various specific items um, to be part of our giving as a church. Uh, we invite you to bring used cell phones, and if you have a, a charger that goes with it, I know at our house we have either one or two, depending on whether we can find them or not. Uh, cell phones that we used to use, these are reconditioned and used uh, so that people have access to 911. And there's, you can either put them under the tree or there's a box in the back. Another thing we do is that we collect diapers that we pass out during the year for uh, people that are seeking emergency assistance that don't have the money to buy, um, um, to buy disposable diapers. Uh, in addition to that, we are collecting uh, books for the book nook, uh, which you can also place under the tree. Uh, we target kids um, K through second grade, uh, so they're pretty young reader books that we're looking for. This year we've added something new. Um, we're looking for plastic buckets, and you can add a sponge or something. Uh, for cleaning supplies for refugee families that come and are resettled with World Relief. Now why, you might ask, uh, are we going to get all this stuff and put, I just put another $5 bill in the offering plate and we just go out and get it? The answer is, of course we could. But I don't know about you, but when I'm in the market uh, in our high uh when we go shopping and we wheel over to that uh, diaper area where we haven't been for years on our own accord, uh, and, and, and pick that off the shelf and put it in our, in our cart, I'm reminded that these are real people with real human needs and I feel there's more to the giving sometime than just the extra $5. So I invite you uh, to participate in any of those as, as you want or are able. I think there's also in the visitor uh, some items for seniors at St. Anthony's Continuing Care Center, and those can also be placed under the tree. And I see that as a way for us to enrich our uh, connection with the uh, holiday spirit that uh, is going to pay out the us in the next several weeks. Are there guests or visitors this morning who want to be introduced? I'll come on back in. You're not going to um, I have my friend Emma with me from school. She's from Grand Junction, and she was here celebrating Thanksgiving. So. Very good. And I brought um, my friend and sorority sister Irene Fernando with me. She's from Carson, California. She's from the East. Welcome, ladies. Are there others? I'd like to mention uh, Harry, who's here again. He's uh, from Indonesia. Welcome. Glad you're back. Well, let's continue with our worship by standing to uh, say the call to worship. To you, my God, I lift my soul. Do not let my enemies laugh at me. Let us pray. All powerful God, increase our strength of will for doing good. That Christ may find an eager welcome at his coming to call us to his side of the kingdom of heaven, where Christ lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
Yes, my child, I should have expected it, but I didn't. When I was chosen to burn incense in the temple, it was an honor. But pre presenting people's prayers didn't seem to change anything for me. I had obeyed the Lord all my life, but my prayers for a child had not been answered. Israel had prayed for a Messiah for more than 400 years. But who could deliver them from the powerful Romans? So why did you go on praying? I kept praying because I believed in God. But when an angel, a messenger from God's very presence, told me I would have a son, I was filled with questions instead of hope. So your son was a miracle, baby? Yes, and the angel told me that my son John would be like Elijah. He would have a special message for all people who needed hope. The Messiah, our Savior, was coming in God's own miraculous way. He would deliver us. God wasn't slow in keeping his promise, but patient. I don't like waiting. Learn to be still and know that God always hears our prayers. When I doubted God was promised that he would give me a son, God took away my vision and her ability to speak until John was born. During that time, I learned to trust that God hears even the silent prayers from our hearts. What are you hoping for this advent, child, that God can give you? I'm hoping I can have another chance to be friends with my neighbor. We used to do everything together, and I broke up promise to You need the message my son was born to bring. He told us to repent, to turn our hearts toward God and others. With God's forgiveness, there's always hope. We can praise God with angels for a living hope in Jesus.
don't get too comfortable. Just come and stand with me. So these are what we're looking at. Is, well, first of all, didn't Evan do a nice job? Elijah, why don't you come up and stand here in front so you can see. So here are two angels. This is a Christmas angel from the nativity set that's uh, done by Isabel Bloom. And this is a St. Michael, which I bought when I was down in Guatemala. So he's not He's standing on a demon. Which one of these two angels looks sweeter? Yeah, she looks a lot better. And 